all right guys and girls welcome back to the video this is tutorial number three uh, with google uh, google apis uh, so we are using the blogger apis so far and so far we have looked at the one of the stuff that is the blogs right the blogs now we will look at some of more methods and attributes so now let's explore um, the post uh, attribute so how we can use the post right so let's get started so the first thing that we need to do right so we can go to the blogger so this is my response right so let's make a new response right so I'm gonna say response is equal to right and I have to say blog because I have created a, a, a client resource right and I can say dot and I have to set uh, I can go to the post section right so if you observe the documentation we are in the post now these are all the met uh, um, methods you can use so we have the list method right which takes the blog ID right so I can say post and dot list right and the list takes blog ID So here you can see that's the blog ID and I want to supply the blog ID. So let's see if we can get all the post, right? So I'm going to give that, right? Uh, going to say execute to execute that, right? So now I can print the response. I have a JSON. Let's see what we get. So essentially printing it. Wow, that's beautiful. We have this entire blog lovely 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 so let's see what does that mean so we have a next page token so if you want to go to the next blog this is a token so if you want to make a request and you want to pass in the next token right which uh, i'll be showing you uh, in the next video so now le let me uh, go through all the content so here you can see is the title right so if i want to go through the title um, the way i can do that through the json response uh, resp remember we i told you to use the get method and not the dictionary and why is that because you know it gives key error if the key is not found so i hope you know that right so i can say print in the round brackets and run this so now you can see it's returning none so we have made some mistake which we need to rectify so if we observe carefully this is inside um, items so I cannot access title uh, that easily so I can say dot items and if I now run it right so let's see what do we get um, IOPUB rate exceeded okay I think we have exceeded the number of limits maybe let's try one more time uh, with the response right so we would say a response and I want to go inside the items right so I'm gonna say items and hit enter hopefully we get the response that's beautiful now again this is inside a list so I'm gonna give zero so this this is essentially just one blog right now I can go inside the ID that's a blog ID I can get the blog if you want to go to inside the blog you can get, go inside the blog what I'm looking for is the title in the URL right so I can simply specify the title I hit enter and here you can see I get the title of the blog so now if I want to grab the URL it's very easy guys nothing diff difficult so I can simply say URL hit enter this is the URL of that blog beautiful we learned how to get the title and the URL now if you want to get the next blog right so the way you should do this um, let me show you that so if I go on the top of my response every response has, has a, a token right so a next token so something like this so now we want to use this token to get the next blog which i'll be teaching you in the next tutorial so thank you for watching and in the next tutorial we will learn how to use this token